Kwame Na Ado, working with um, the Agriculture and Climate Empowerment Center in Ghana. Yes, um, ASEC is our abbreviation. So I'm here to present on um, how we are working with um, Impact Direct in our work in Ghana and um, how you can support us more to do our work. So I'm going ahead with it. Thanks. Great. Yes, yeah, so let me take you through my presentation outline. We have a um, look at the overview of ASEC, what we do, um, some of our success stories, our partnership with Impact Direct and the work that we are doing together. We also look at our local solution and why we need everyone's support. Yes, so just a short introduction of ASEC. ASEC is a not-for-profit organization that empowers communities in some nations in West Africa to adopt strategies that enhance resilience to climate change. So our mission is to support communities to mitigate and adapt to the impacts of climate change. And our vision is that uh, we want to be a leading organization in Africa that is transforming Africa into an environmentally sustainable continent. So let me take you through some of the things that we do and uh, our intervention areas. So ASEC focuses on forests, biodiversity, entrepreneurship, agriculture, clean energy, water, lands, and ecosystems. Yes, yeah, so as you already know what our work is, we help communities to be able to enhance their resilience against climate change. So we look at these areas to do our work. We enhance resilience to climate change through participating in forestry projects, empowering women, especially in biodiversity entrepreneurship, helping farmers in agriculture, helping uh, vulnerable communities and women as well in clean energy, and then our interventions in water lands and ecosystems. So for now, how ASEC survives is that we secure funding by writing project proposals in response to calls by donors. And when we do this, at times, we form partnerships with some other organizations, be it local or international, that bring complementary skills to make real impact. At the moment, ASEC is being funded by Impact Direct. We have a couple of um, projects that Impact Direct is supporting us to implement within the country of Ghana. So let's look at some of our success stories. We have um, the first one being the Clean Energy Entrepreneurship Program. We were able to create micro entrepreneurs out of this project. We were able to form small size business owners who were women. Uh, majority of them were women because our focus is mainly put on the women because they are most vulnerable. We also instituted an after sale, after sale service team where after you purchase a cook stove, the after sale service team would help you repair the cook stove in the event that it gets destroyed or it breaks down. We've also provided markets for clean cook stoves. And overall, we have created opportunities for women. We have empowered the women to be able to become distributed, distributors and marketers of these clean cook stoves. So as you can see in the picture, that was one of the women who we supply with cook stoves and she markets them for her livelihood. Yes, looking at another success story, we have uh, the free donation of clean cook stoves to women. So you remember in Marie uh, during our intervention um, under the COVID period last year, we donated free cook stoves to women. And some of the results that we were able to attain was that we had cleaner cooking, the air was much more cleaner, we had um, increased energy efficiency, we reduced deforestation, we also reduced climate pollutants, and also reduced the burden on women with the time that they may spend gathering fuel and then the cooking time because the clean cook stoves reduces the longer spans for cooking and also saves time for the beneficiaries. The third 
success story we have is in the project of the mangrove restoration, where um, we were able to conserve biodiversity as the necessary grounds for coastal and marine species. We're also able to support livelihoods of women, especially within the coastal communities of Ghana. We were able to buffer the coastal communities against flooding by planting the mangroves. So in the picture here, we see some of the community women with their kids gathering to plant the propagos, the seedlings of the mangroves, to be able to increase resilience against climate change in their community. So some of the results we also attained is that we were able to stabilize the coastline because we depended it from flooding and becoming more vulnerable to harsh weather impacts. And we also reduced soil erosion. So let's look at our partnership with Impact Direct so far. I think um, our relationship with Impact Direct has spanned about more than a year now. Why we work with Impact Direct in changing the story of giving. With Impact Direct, they leave decision making to the communities to decide. They don't bring the solutions or how they feel we should do the work from the Netherlands but they leave it to the communities. ASEC is a grassroots organization. We are in the communities. So we know the problems and we apply what works. So when we tell them that this is what we have identified as a challenge, so Impact Direct should help us to intervene within those challenges. They help us to apply what works by not interfering. We also have regular checkups that makes us share lessons learned the challenges that we are facing in the project delivery and also share ways we can improve the project to be able to ensure that the beneficiaries are okay. So this brings us to the identification of the local solution by ASEC. What does ASEC feel that works as a local solution? Is that we develop projects that have a business case. We have realized that usually when we carry out these humanitarian projects, after the phase of the project, people go back to poverty. People go back to living under harsh conditions. Standard of living continues to decrease because the project has ended. So we feel that when we identify projects that have a business case, even after the funding phase, the projects are able to go on for the beneficiaries to be able to get an improvement in their lives. So with support from Impact Direct, we are ensuring sustainability that even after the project phase, women will continue to thrive under good living conditions to be able to take care of their children and their families. We are currently supporting other projects with capacity building because we feel that this is the way to ensure that things go on the way we want as our local solution. So let me take you through why we need your support. We need your support because we are each other's keepers and we cannot do everything alone. If you are privileged to have enough, why not help others? We also know that a problem in any part of the world is a problem everywhere. For example, COVID. COVID started in far away China, but now it's a global phenomenon. It's become a pandemic worldwide because it started from somewhere and we felt that it does not affect us. But these are the reasons why we need to stem in and intervene in order to help people suffering any part of the world. We also know that the problems that exist are not created by the victims of the problem. So I have said this countless times that if we look at a phenomenon like climate justice, climate justice means that the big organizations that contribute to climate change, for example, the four companies, the oil companies who pollute the atmosphere a lot do not suffer from the impact of climate change themselves. However, the poor women and poor men and poor children who are in their communities somewhere are those who suffer from the effects of this climate change and not necessarily the big companies that created it. We also have the phenomenon of COVID-19 that wherever it came from has ravaged innocent lives. People who knew nothing about COVID-19 are those who are suffering from the impacts of COVID-19. One more thing we should look at is that ASEC is also based in the community. So you get to make a direct impact when you donate, you will be taking real people out of poverty because for our cook stove distribution projects like this, because of your donation, we were able to purchase cook stoves 
and give it to women to be able to sell. And out of this, the women have their livelihoods. You will also be giving real people jobs and incomes. I have given an example of all these things that do your intervention also within the mangrove restoration project. Women are now having real jobs and owning and gaining real incomes because when they cut the firewood that we are managing sustainably, they are able to make a living out of it. Last but not the least, you become a shareholder in everything that we do. Who does not want to be attached with good works? I think it's a noble thing that we can all involve ourselves in. So this brings me to the end of my presentation. Thank you for your attention and thank you for your donation.